Hello everyone, and welcome to the moment you have all been waiting for. The culmination of months of preparation, weeks of exciting matches. It is the grand finals of the 2020 OSU World Cup. Today's match will be featuring defending champion, two-time defending champion, the United States seeking to complete a record three-peat of the OSU Standard World Cup, taking on Team Germany, who have made their way into their first ever OWC Grand Final. The addition of White Cat to their team has taken them a level higher than they've ever made it before, but they have a stalwart opponent in front of them in the United States. Welcome to the booth, guys. I am this one guy, and I will be joined by Doland and Chillier Pair to bring you what is sure to be an exciting match. Hey, guys, I can't wait. How about you? I am excited, pumped up, jazzed. Insert any adjective. I think everyone is ready. This is the match the world was waiting for, and now we have it. This is the culmination, as you said, of everything else in the tournament that we have seen thus far. We've seen a United States-Germany matchup once, and we're running it back again after that semifinals matchup. Germany looking for redemption. The redemption arc starts now, and they're going to look to take the United States down. And Germany put on a clinic yesterday against Canada. They looked surgical in that 7-0 defeat. They won it badly, and I think they come into this match as prepared as anyone can be to face off against the United States, who have, of course, historically been the strongest team in this tournament for now three years running. I am fascinated to see what we end up getting in terms of strategy. I am excited to see some incredible performances that we're sure to have here today. And uh, man, this is like no further ado type of stuff here because they are getting right into the bands immediately. Yeah, they are getting straight down to business here. We see Germany banning out Hidden 2 while the United States will take away Nomad 1 and DT2. Germany now on their second ban, which will be Nomad 6. Understandable bans here for both teams. United States banning out the basic mechanics and uh, maps that are a little bit more straightforward. Germany looking really nice and consistent on all of that yesterday. Germany dropping out those awkward hidden gimmick nomad awkward maps basically is the only way I can describe them. But the United States has been looking so good on uh, those more niche skill sets lately that both of these teams know exactly what they have to do coming into this match. They've done the preparation. They know how the other team works. They have the experience and they are putting that all forward at the beginning here. And we're going to wait for the first pick, which goes to Germany. Yeah, I'm yep. I, I, it's going to be hard rock one. I was going to say I'm expecting it to be hard rock one because you know the mechanics are going to come in from Germany because that is, of course, what they are known for. And so they are just going to go straight into Hard Rock 1. I, you know, they played it yesterday. It was the closest map of that match. It was about 3,000 points. They won Hard Rock 1 against Canada. So it's a closely fought match, but uh, I think the best option kind of on the table because against the United States, you just can't pick skill cap maps. You have to pick mechanics maps because they crush everyone on anything that's even approaching gimmick or niche skill sets. So something like this is, I think, a good starting point for this match. And also, another thing that we probably should point out this match, I feel like nerves are going to impact these teams much more than they would, considering for many players in this lobby, not only is it their first World Cup, it's their first Grand Final as well. And so there's a lot of the, the new players in here that we have to keep our eyes out for as well. The United States running with uh, four players that are new on their roster here. Germany also running with four new players. So about half the rosters here have that uh, experience. Germany, as you mentioned, not quite making it to grand finals. This is their first time getting above third place in OWC. But both teams here have been running really strong with those replacement players, especially the United States, who people expected to kind of take a bit of a dip this year, have really stepped up to the plate and those new players have made a massive difference. And we already see the starting rosters in the lobby. It looks like these are the eight players we're going to get for the opening of this grand final. Speed TMC with Baxi Kaplays, Swaggy Swagster, Hollow Watcher, White Cat, Okanamo, and Dustus. This lobby is stacked. And this is, you know, we said the United States bringing in all these new players. There are three new members 
on the team in the roster for the first map of the Grand Finals. Meanwhile, Germany kind of keeping that core for, you know, three members who've been on the team year after year in Halo Watcher, Okinamo, Dust Dice, meanwhile, White Cat, of course, the new addition this year. He's in pretty much everything, and uh, so no surprise to see him on this, but a very different uh, sort of approach in terms of roster for these teams, but going to be Here watching we everyone go. on this. This is huge. This is it. Weeks and months of preparation and tournament play all lead down to this moment. For the last time in the 2020 calendar year for the World Cup cycle, we will start a match. The Grand Finals is underway. And Swaggy Swagstrom is just the first 30 notes of the map. It is not under the, underway the way he liked it, but... This is one of those very lengthy maps. I mean, it's over four minutes long. It's a lot of consistent difficulty. And I think, uh, you know, those nerves might end up playing a factor with a map this long. If you build up some big combos, you already see a couple early breaks from new members on USA. Beast Troll and on Rectagon, both having a little trouble in that intro. In Germany, that small little early lead. I'm very curious to see Germany's mental in this match because we know they struggled with it in their previous match against the United States where they lost 6-0. So if they're able to get that under control and play the way they did yesterday, they're going to have a shot here today, I think, at making things a lot more interesting. Well, the Okinamo run. is going to find the first miss for Germany there. Bringing the U.S. a little back into it. It's going to be a big miss as well. BTMC and Swaggy Spikes are at early misses, but Kablaze trading it out is going to be a big one here. You see BTMC shaking a little bit more than usual, but he is holding it. Oh, but he doesn't hold it. Just as I say that, the miss comes out from BTMC. And Dust Dice, though, comes trade. back. Yeah, break of the zone. And there goes Okinamo again. So it is Hallow Watcher White Cat against Backsay and Swaggy Swagster. Oh, and Hallow does go down, though, in that flurry of trades there. So that will favor the U.S. Backsay and Swaggy Swagster now only have to contend with White Cat. Mind you, less act as well. We're only a third of the way in. There's a ton of map left to go, but the longer Vaxe and Mr. Swagster are able to hold on to those big combos, the better it's going to be for the United States. And if White Cat breaks, then it starts to be, you know, dire straits for Germany. White Cat looked really, really good on this map yesterday. It was the top scorer for Team Germany, I believe. But look at Swaggy Swagster down at the bottom right corner of the United States. 99.56, halfway through the map, unrelenting on any of this. His aim is exactly where it needs to be, the new addition to the Team United States. And it certainly was a good one as Dust Ice finds a break to trade Kablaze. Yeah, but one thing we got to watch out for as these combos do start to get bigger. Oh, there's some big misses from the U.S. Swaggy Swagster and BTMC going down. And now it's White Cat against Vaxay, but Germany has the supporting combos from Halo Watcher and Okinamo. This is coming close. This would be so huge for Germany to get off on it with a good start here. Get a little bit of momentum under their belts, you know, at least a first map win here. Okinamo and Hollow Watch are just holding combo behind White Cat, and they're going to bring this lead back. I believe they're going to take the lead over here shortly. You do have a yeah. fair amount of difficult jumps coming up shortly, but for now it's going to be Germany in the advantage. Yeah, it's going to come up to this final quarter of the map for Germany. They have the advantage. Can they hold it? It all comes down to White Cat and Vaxi. I think Hallow Watcher and Okinamo are putting up the great supporting combos, but either of these FCs dropping with a quarter of the map left leaves so much room. The United States has supporting combos on all three other players right now, but BTMC does drop it, but Okinamo trades and Hallow Watcher breaks as well. This is big. Yeah, that's going to favor the U.S. now as we head into this final quarter of the map, and White Cat does go down! It's only Vaxi, and he's got the time and combo to overturn this deficit, but he goes but down! <laughs> It's just all on Kablaze, Swaggy, Spikester, and Dust Ice now, but the United States does have that combo advantage. Those two big combos can bring this back it's slowly but Hallow surely in the ending. Watch Dust Hallow Ice, watch Rectigon, watch Kablaze. Kablaze does break. It's basically a 1v1 Rectigon versus Dust Ice. Dust it's all Germany's those two. It. Germany trying to hold on to their opening pick. This is massive for them. They need this. They've got the advantage. Swaggy Swagster has the accuracy, but Dust Dice has the combo. White Cat breaks. There's a little bit of combo. Okinamo's down. Okinamo. Okinamo's down in the U.S. Flip it. And it the flips. break. Can they keep it? The United States holding Swaggy Swagster. Dust Dice breaks. Dust Dice breaks. Okinamo breaks. That's Hallow's it. down, and that'll do it. From Germany. Clutch break point from the United States. Germany just could not hold on. What an 
ending that map is amazing. The last 200 combo are just so difficult and so back and forth. And the United States just by the skin of their teeth eke out the break point. My goodness, you could not start off the match in a more exciting fashion. That was absolutely insane. Swaggy Swagster really putting the work in there. 99.43, that accuracy makes a whole world of difference for Team United States here, along with Vaxay's combo, just barely clinging on to that 30 combo over and, White Cat. And the U.S. will fire with their pick. It's going to be Nomad 3, Dishonor. And they're saying we're going to switch this skill set up about as much as possible. They're going to go from the raw aim hard rock into the alt kind of snap aim alt focus no mod pick. They're going to take the match into their own hands if they can here. I think you know that they had a pretty close fight against Germany on the alt map in the semifinals, but this is going to be a much more USA favored type of map than the uh, than the hard rock one was. I think this is going to be a place that they can maybe. Uh, Feel a little more comfortable, and it's not maybe for them. They're hoping it's not going to come down to the last seconds again. <laughs> yeah. Got, yeah. If uh, if that map was a sign of how this match might go, boys, I think we're in for a long match. Yeah, we're going to be here for a while. The United States, you got to remember, they have gone through the majority of this tournament with some pretty uncontested matches, and most of the points have been pretty far as well. So Germany starting off the grand finals match with a sixty thousand score difference where the United States also knows a lot of Germany's scores. They have an MP link to go off of to check all of that. So uh, the United States got to watch themselves here. Hopefully Germany doesn't get into their heads too much. The United States normally a very strong mental team. They, uh, they do not feign at all when it comes to morale here. So they are going to be looking to hold on to this as long as they can. We also need to keep in mind, we have a lot of substitutions here. The United States making three substitutions, keeping Vaxay, but bringing in Fiery, Fancy Lad, and Ariu. Germany will just bring in Smarty, the only substitution there. Yeah, and this is the type of thing that United States has a, uh, I think, a more tested roster for. You know, Fiery, Fancy, and Ariu, all tournament veterans, all OWC veterans, except for Fancy. But Fancy's been such a stalwart in the tournament scene anyway. I think, you know, players who are a little more comfortable, a little uh, in the, on this on this sort of stage, you know, here in the grand finals. Mm. So maybe a little As more As we get here. underway, though, we want to thank the 13,000 plus of you who have tuned in for this grand final. Yeah, this viewership is crazy already, and we're already seeing several breaks in this intro. Fiery and Fancy Lad, White Cat, Dust Dice, Smarty all going down for Germany. So it is Okinamo solo against Vaxay and Ariu. Only a couple hundred combo in, but this is not a long Ooh, match. Big there. Only about two minutes. That's a triple miss from Germany, and Y Cat only at 130 combo. They're really not building much of anything in the US now, running away with Fiery and Fancy Lad. But Ariu and Vaxay do find the misses. It's gonna be close into the, the beginning here. Almost halfway through the map. There's not a ton of combo left. This is only two minutes. Yeah, this one can go in a hurry on you if you're not careful if somebody's able to keep combo while there's break but there are misses a lot of places you see fancy lad another break Ooh, fiery. fiery though that and big that's combo big. is gone now for him too germany yeah. combo advantage here we'll see if they can bring this back how long can they hold on they've got three big three pretty decent sized combos the united states only two Whoa. and now it only they're trading but white cat that's big oh that's a three-way reset for germany white cat dust dice okinamo all broke it's smarty versus vax and, and now smarty oh, goes there down goes smarty and as well and now, once again, there is none for Germany. Vaxi, the only one with a massive combo, but he's doing the damage right now on the score line. Yeah, the United States had the score lead before, and Vaxi is just trying to widen it again. Germany tried bringing something back, but now with the United States holding combos all around Vaxi here, you're really running out of time as Smarty finds the break on the wrong side here for Germany. This is the United States' pick. Not surprising. Vaxi does break at the end, but unfortunately, not enough time. 300,000 score lead, and Germany just doesn't have the combo on this last slider. Vaxay yeah. will come away with the MVP. 600,000 points for him on this one. The United States lead it 2 0. White Cat, not too far behind. 535, 536K on that very solid score from him as well. That was another case of Germany having the opportunities to bring it back. You know, they had some combo lead and then they just found a reset. A little bit of extra consistency for the United States really pays dividends on maps like that where you can find breaks all over the place and they just always seem to have one combo at least left alive able to maintain that lead the whole way through yeah that's the scary thing that i've noticed about germany for most of the tournament is on their good days what makes them so just terrifying is 
They can at any moment just start rebuilding combo even after a triple reset and come back in the second half of the map. And just the consistency that really shows through for Team Germany. They're ready for these late stage map pulls. And I think, uh, you know, when you come in with the new lineup, there is a lot of questions. But a lot of these players on Germany, the tried and true lineup for them really paying off for these close first few points here. 60,000 difference on their pick and only a 240,000 score difference on the United States' pick, which is not a large margin uh, from what we've seen in previous U.S. matches versus other teams. So Germany is already giving us the show that we're looking for and into the Hard Rock too. They're really going to stick with this precision here. And, you know, they picked Hard Rock 2 the previous time these teams faced off. And, of course, the USA was won that match in a sweep. So any pick that Germany had, they lost. But it was a pretty closely contested one um, on the Hard Rock 2 there as well. So this one, a little bit different stylistically. This Hard Rock 2, you know, another precision name CS 6.5 pick. Um, but a little more aim-focused. Whereas the previous one, I think, had some more flow aim and kind of finger control aspects to it. So it is a precision aim map. And it is something that Germany has proven to be very strong on. But... I think both these teams will do well on, on maps like this, so I think we're in for another hard-fought battle. Very difficult start for both of these teams here, understandably. The grand finals, everything hangs in the balance here. This is the time where Germany can show off exactly what they've been trying to the entire tournament. They had a very rough start at the beginning, got forced down to the loser's bracket by the United States and fought their way back valiantly, absolutely rolling through a few teams to get back here and saying, no, we don't belong in the loser's bracket. We should be back here against you again, and we are going to make it even closer than you expect well, it to be. If Germany wants their revenge, they're going to have to get rolling soon, though, because this is the grand finals, and they did come out of the loser's bracket, which means they need two victories over the United States to claim the world title. You're going to have a difficult time with that one. Yeah, just the mental the mental aspect of trying to win two best of 13s against a team like the United States has got to be difficult to face. But, and if, especially, you know, I mean, if they can't win this pick, which is another short one, only two and a half minutes long, the United States, if they are able to take a 3-0 to zero double break point lead, things start to get a little dicey. So Germany definitely want to get rolling here, and they've got a roster that is more than capable of doing it. So as we get into this one... This is a pick that I think Germany almost can consider a must win, even though we're only a couple maps into it, because the momentum will start to shift pretty heavily in the United States' favor if they don't. It's now or never. I know it's very early, but on a grand finals pool with maps this difficult, and to be perfectly honest, when Germany starts exhausting the mechanics maps that they are so good at, they are going to inevitably run out of very confident picks, or rather picks that the United States is not equally or not more confident on, so... I think it now yeah. is important. But Germany just have to remember that they're not out of this fight just yet. Being down 2-0 is unfortunate, but there's still plenty of time for them to run it back. And we yeah. did see White Cat and Hallow Watcher just pop off against Canada. So we know they can deliver on a pool like this. All eyes on Hallow Watcher. Smarty had a great performance on the previous map. We didn't see him in the finals match versus Canada at all, but we are seeing him in the grand finals as Vaxe finds the first break. And Fiery, White Cat, and Dust Dice will follow it up, so two misses apiece. Blaze and Rectagon Swaggy Swagster, that's four misses for the United States. Ooh, it's Hallow yeah, Watcher now. Smarty with the under aim, so it's just Hallow Watcher now left with the combo for Germany. I and almost folks, this map like is really short. Yeah, I mean, we're almost halfway through already. I almost feel like, you know, it, we're seeing the kind of thing that happened with Vaxay last week where he just wasn't quite there for those early maps. Got it going later on, but, I mean, he's top scored the two picks for the USA, but, you know, not looking like the unstoppable monster that we're used to seeing. But so far, Hallow Watcher is that guy holding a very impressive 99.7 <laughs> AK FC, but another break from White Cat Ooh, comes in. Big break. And, then, oh my, that's... That's everyone. That's Kablaze and Dust Dice is the only combos left across the board. And now Dust Dice yeah. is gone too. Just Kablaze. Kablaze does no, drop Kablaze. though. And that means Germany's going to retain the advantage they've built. And now it's going to be pretty difficult for the US to overturn this. They're going to have to get to work and they're really going to need some misses from Germany to make it happen. Ooh, Hallow Watcher finds another break, but trades Swaggy Swagster. It's a full combo reset for both teams here. Everybody sub 100 combo except for White Cat right now. Accuracy in the favor of Germany, the only player Dust Dice, but Swaggy Swagster with lower accuracy. 
is that Fiery Mage and Dust Dice trade another break out. This is in Germany's favor very heavily right now. Combo advantage for neither team. And as the map comes to a close here, these final 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah despite... Germany, Germany takes this. This is, I mean. Yeah, Hallow Watcher really did enough damage early on to put this out of reach. Oh, that big double break from the United States and White Cat's combo is enough at the end. And Germany get themselves on the board two to one early. This is the start that I think they are looking for. Unfortunate break point to start it off, but they are certainly not letting it deter them. Yeah, Hallow Watcher stepping up there brilliantly in a big way for his team. Yeah, that 620k score was exactly what Germany needed. Best score in the map by about 90,000 points, which uh, doesn't sound like much, but when the margin of victory is only 172k, it uh, ends up being meaningful. USA, as ever, coming in with a very quick response in the double time number four pick is going to be adieu to this lovely, to this lively graveyard, which uh, is the very strange DT pick, I think, sums <laughs> it up. They're a very well-prepared team, so they could just be going off of it. But I imagine once Germany starts taking mm. more malleable, but into double time four, roster changes all across the board here. We see Umbre for Germany come in. And, and Vax are going to get a little bit of a head start on us all. Obviously, yeah, you need the, that space. The double, time, the double time bug is... Coming in strong once again. We'll get into this eventually <laughs> yep. here after we get through a little bit of the intro and things uh, kind of sort themselves out. But yeah, uh, not as of yet. <laughs> no, yeah, not quite. Fancy fiery and dust dice all with early breaks. Not entirely sure if they're real. Loki Namo does as well. And goodness, this is not fixing itself. This is this is uh, not a bug. This is more than a bug at this point. This is real it's life. Not a bug. It's not there a we go. There we go. We're back. Ooh, triple break from everyone there, and Okinawa three for Umbre, Germany. Okinawa with dust ice. Yeah, it's just White Cat with combo. United States can try to run away with this. This is a little bit longer than... No, it's excuse me, it's not. It's a little bit shorter. It's a two-minute map. So, just need to hold yeah, on a little bit longer for USA, and they're going to establish a big move. Yeah. yeah, Fire, the only one with a miss there for the US, really holding them back. But Vaxi, fancy line and air you. Putting in the work, White Cat doing his best, but his teammates... Struggling a little bit here. Zokinamo finds another mist. Dustin Sumbre. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Dustin Sumbre and Okinamo, so that is a three way reset. Oh, White Cat acquitting himself very well despite the lower accuracy, but Vaxi Fancy Lad Aerie is just going on a tear here for the USA. Vaxi finally does break, but it's traded with White Cat. I think that's going to pretty much end the map despite only being just a little past halfway through. Yeah, and there's White Cat's break. That's definitely going to end it there. Aerie and Fancy Lad with the accuracy as well, going to be doing all of the work for the United States here. Aerie finally breaks, but Fancy Lad, the captain of the United States, pulling his team through here. Yeah, quarter of the map left, and that score bar is firmly planted on the left-hand side of the screen, and they are running away with it. Fancy Lad breaks aside. United States has built up a substantial lead for themselves on Aryu and Fancy Lad. Both 650k plus scores, insanely impressive accuracy as well, above 98. Fancy Lad almost at 99. So those two for the United States. Actually starting to build something up but here, but as Aryu breaks, it doesn't matter at the ending as Okinawa trades. This was just a really good pick for the United States. This is the type of map that I think they were always going to be favored on against this Germany roster. Just several players who were very, very good at those older style DT maps. And uh, they showed that 900,000 point victory 
And uh, that's a three to one lead. 800,000 from Fancy Lad. That is insane. Uh, impressive accuracy from Vaxe as well. Eight 100s, just the misses holding him back. Seven on Ombre, actually. Amazing for him from Team Germany. Ariu, a fantastic backing score for Fancy Lad for the entire. Complete opposite in terms of map style here. You had the, the awkward aim style map, and now you're going into the uh, AR 10.3 aim DT. A little bit of a different area here, and one that Germany notably specializes in more so. So we're going to get into the fifth round of this grand final. White Cat going to be uh, taking a little bit of a break, letting his team hold him up, and then he'll join us. Now we US, have it. USA with the uh, kind of tried and true DT1 roster, bringing in Fire Rage and Rectigon joining back to Fancy Lad. He said Neox joining the Okinawa Dust Size White Cat squad. This is Ooh, Swaggy Swagster will find the first drop there for the US. This is the type of map that can be very close, and it can also be very one sided just depending on how people are feeling on, you know, kind of the aim based DTs. Germany with that one combo advantage. Ooh, White Cat, the White player Cat that we did not spring. expect. Yeah, a lot of players that we could see breaking on a map like this. White Cat, not entirely sure if we expected him to be the first, but Dust Ice will be bringing up another miss as it's only Swaggy Swagster for the United States who continues to hold Ooh, combo. Fiery. Now this you makes will... it a little more interesting. Yeah, this kind of prevents the US from running away with it now. And if we think back to uh, their match previously, they played Ikenai Borderline was the uh, DT number one back in the semifinals. White Cat found an early break and ended up having the best accuracy, I believe, of anyone in the lobby. Um, just had one early miss and FC'd the rest. So we'll see if he can pull that off again. I know he's more than capable of doing it. That combo is going to be important as he tries to build Definitely. back up. Definitely. Swaggy Spikes are looking really, really good after that initial break here. However, White Cat and Dust Dice both recovering uh, White Cat above 99% still. And it really is on Neox versus Vaxe here. Okinamo and fans of that trading, but Okinamo breaks not the side that Germany wanted on their pick here. And the United States is really going to bring some score to their side now. Yeah, Germany's going to need to see a miss from the U.S. pretty quickly to stop that bleeding, or it's going to get ugly really fast as we're getting into the final third of the map. And it needs to be on one of those two FCs. And it is. It's Fancy Life finds the break, but Dust Ice trades it. So still going to be the United States in the advantage with that Vaxay FC and Rectigon nearly, you know, still at 750 combo doing quite well for himself. So they're going to feel all right as long as Vaxay holds on. It's going to be Vaxay versus Neox with the FCs through this big jump section. Both of them hold it. Wow. They really need the break from Vaxay here if Germany wants anything to happen. He's not letting up, but oh, Swaggy Spicer finds a break. That could be pretty big. The score lead's going to go back over to towards Germany a little bit. Yeah, Germany, Vaxay's down. Vaxay Wait a minute. Wait, Wait a minute. Neox is still FC. Here they, they come. Fancy Lad is down. The United States is falling apart in the last couple seconds of the map. There is time for Germany. There's a small window of opportunity for Germany. Firing does go down as well. It's going to complete it. the quad miss. Germany now will storm back in it. Neox leading the charge with White Cat. And Germany will pull through on their second point. Neox, Massive. The, brand new, the new player for Germany coming alive in the grand finals with a 99.2% FC almost into Neox. The coming in clutch 1.1 million points and Germany are still in this World Cup grand final, ladies and gentlemen.
This this was an absolutely insane pick from Germany. They almost let that slip away from them. A lot of very early breaks from Germany and the United States kind of letting it up just a little bit in the end. They held it as long as they could, but that triple into a quad break at the end of the map there just gave Germany that little bit of wiggle room that they needed. And Neox capitalizing on that at the end being backed up by White Cat with that massive combo. United States going back to the Nomad for a pick that we expected to see from them, I would assume. And they're gonna look to keep themselves in the lead here, although Germany still looking good. And this is something that I think Germany can do really well on. These, pick, these picks feel very frightening, I think, for pretty much anyone involved because we've seen what White Cat is capable of on some of these Nomad 4s. We've seen what Dust Dice no Kinamo can do. I, nothing feels very assured at this point with Germany playing as well as they are on those last two picks. So, uh, you know, United States, as you said before, kind of feeling like they're just going down the list and checking off their maps in order that they want to have played. But... As well as Germany is playing, it feels like a sure thing, and with some kind of unusual misses, you know, you're not used to seeing Vaxay miss on stuff like that. You're not used to seeing Fancy Lad miss on stuff like that. Things get a little more tight here. Three to two the lead as we go into map number six. Yep, this round is... number six on to fluctuation. This is a big one. This really goes to show how difficult this pool is, even for players of this caliber. Just to see, you know, some of these players that you would never expect to see this many breaks out of really putting up insane scores, but just, you know, the FCs do not come out in a pool like this very often. Dust Dice with a very early slider break, but it's certainly not in yet. There goes Fiery Ridge to trade it immediately as we get into the big sections of the map here. Only two minutes. Yeah, this map is fairly short. Only two minutes. It can blaze Fiery with a double miss. Dust Dice and Okadama will trade it. So it's Smarty and White Cat against Vaxi and Fancy Lad. Smarty finds a break and Fancy Lad and Vaxay hold on to it. It's just White Cat versus the United States right now. This is the type of map that Fancy Lad absolutely eats up. And Vaxi there goes Vaxay. Fancy Lad still not giving anything and a massive backing combo from Fiery Rage and Kablaze. And you see another break from Smarty as well, another slider break from him, so a little bit of that backing combo gone for Germany. White Cat is holding on and there is a lot of time left if Fancy Lad were to find a break. But it's going to be very, very much in the USA's favor as those combos continue to hold. Vaxay still struggling a little bit. Another break, but there's a double reset. Triple reset. Smarty, Okinawa, Dust Dice, all gone for Germany. They have no backing combo at all now. Yeah, this would have been very good for Germany if White Cat held and he had at least one teammate to back him up right now. But with Fancy Lad completely matching White Cat, actually besting him on accuracy and Fire Ridge and Kablaze absolutely unrelenting after their early breaks. Really bringing it in here. Okinamo does find another break. Yeah, Germany are going to need the U.S. to kind of fall apart here fairly quickly as we're getting into the last third of the map. There's not going to be enough time to overturn that score gap if the lead continues to grow. The ending of this is very, very difficult, though. It is unrelenting as a map, but Germany is not seeing the breaks out of the United States that they need, despite the fact that White Cat is holding on. Smarty is Ooh, building White up. Cat. There goes White Cat. That is probably going to seal it now, despite the break from Blaze. Oh. Fancy Lad still holding that FCN Fiery with a huge combo. Yeah, the question Just is... Just key. Will Fancy Lad do the thing into the end of the map here? Hits the big slider section. Oh my goodness, wait a second. Fancy Lad He's hitting all the double it. back and forth. He's going for it. He's Fancy going Lad is not it. letting anything up into the end of the map. He saw what Neox. Happening? He saw Neox FC and says, I want one too. The captain oh, of the God. US roster. No, he won't. That so last close. little wiggle is so tricky. I've seen a couple people break there in practice and Fancy suffers the same fate. But what a score from him, man. 845,000, just the one miss. 1,200 combo besting everyone else in the lobby by at least 300. A remarkable carry performance from him as a top score by nearly 300,000 points. The United States really needed that after they struggled a little bit on the preceding map. Keep that advantage alive, four to two. And the instant pick again from Germany. This one is being a just speed run by both of these teams. Nomad 5 immediately coming in. This is something that Germany has to keep their eye out for this map now. They really need to look towards those stream players on this Note Mod 5. We saw it in the show match mm -hmm. immediately before this with uh, Mr. Arison putting up an insane carry performance as a United States player in the show match. So the United States got a lot to live up to. They got someone that is not on their roster that didn't try out this year. 
that uh, put up an insane score here, so they got something to live up to. Germany has been looking really good on the speed picks today. Ooh, However, United States, Praxia. Praxia. this is the Trump card right here. They save him for maps like this. And when you see a Praxia in for a speed map, you start to shake. role this year he is still on the team and he is still very very good at these types of maps so a, a you know a very obvious kind of pick for germany you expect them to pick maps like this but one that again united states will be able to contend with a very strong speed roster themselves yeah Definitely. germany though they've been they've been doing really well they haven't let the u.s completely run away with this match still 4-2 they're just a break point away from getting right back in it we see neox back in with rising for germany White Cat not in for the first time for Team Germany here on the Stamina stream map here. However, Germany definitely has the roster to back themselves up as a team on these speed maps. Your Rising has looked insanely good on Stamina maps for the entirety of this tournament here. It's going to be massive for Germany if he's able to hold combo and Dust Ice. Uh, the tried and true, you know, I can double S any stream map that I want player. I also want to look at Vaxay a little bit, and this is weird to say, but, you know, much like the start of the match last week, he is underperforming just a little bit by his standards. Then he got back into it in that match about halfway through, so we're going to see if he can do the same thing here today and start to go back to being that super carry. As we see the first break coming out, it is from Rising on the Germany side. USA, small advantage here. Let's find a miss aim. It isn't really a miss on the stream, and BTMC's cursor is not looking as healthy as I've ever seen it. Look, Apraxia finds a break, though. The break not coming from the player that we see. BTMC still holding the streams, even with the shakes. This is like Wub Wolf Wolf shakes here. He's ready, though. Yeah, yeah he tends to like... shake a little more than most stream players from what I've seen, but it is a little concerning. But he's keeping up the combo, and that's good news for his team as Okanamo goes down and finds a miss. Still in three. three FCs to two. Yeah, and like you said, BTMC, like, is a player that somehow manages to combo with shakes, and I don't know how he does it. It's a remarkable skill. But as we get to the halfway Ooh, point, over he's got a nap. He's, I was going to say, it might come to bite him eventually, and there it is. The aim on the spot. Really again is goes big. down. Germany now in the lead halfway through. The accuracy on Germany is insane as well. Dust Ice, we mentioned him before. He missed some misses by halfway. No. Oh, that's a heartbreaking miss right as Germany gets the lead at the break. That is exactly the thing that you cannot see at the halfway point of the map, especially before a pause and a couple slower sliders here. But Swaggy swipes her slider breaks. Oh, that's such an awkward slider break. Just got that's caught out That's such a blunder. It. That's such a blunder. And that's going to keep Germany in it. Corner of the map left. They've got the advantage. The US are at their mercy. And once again, look who it is, folks. Neox. Came in and carried them on DT1 and looking to do the same thing on this Nomad 5 pick here. It's Neox versus Vaxay once again, and he won that battle last time. We see another break from Dust Ice, but the big backing combo is there from Rising and Okanamo. It is all eyes on Neox, all eyes on Vaxay. Which one of them will hold out the longest, and will either of them blink here? So yeah, but also far, neither of them is. Look at these supporting combos here from Germany coming out of Rising and Okanamo. Formidable supporting combos. They're getting there for the US though with the Praxia, Swaggy Swaxter, and BTMC. So this is a very dangerous situation. We see Vaxi or Neos miss, and there goes Vaxi! And that's gonna seal it at the end. Germany! They're in the third. Too. Germany are running with this four to three. United States, Germany is keeping them on the edge of their seat here as Neox, the only FC, brings it. That's two FCs from Neox, back to back. Rising and Okinawa. In grand rising, finals. Rising Okinawa and Dust Eyes with massive supporting combos. And Dust Eyes and Rising, 99.65 and 99.44. That accuracy is crazy. Is yeah, Dust Eyes, he sort of kind of went under the radar because after he first broke, he kind of struggled.
But he kept this accuracy up, which really paid dividends. Again, instant pick, United States going to free mod too. So they're gonna pick the uh, lower AR, smaller circle size free mod here. Again, trying to take Germany out of their comfort zone because Germany so far on the maps that they are picking are just looking so strong. So the United States has to do whatever they can to avoid those types of picks. You know, you wonder how long it can keep up for Germany, how many more of those maps are in their favor in this match. The United States saying this is not one of those picks. This is one that I think USA is gonna feel very good about. But facing I think kind free of mod though present it's kind of this opposition. This free mod though does kind of present that opportunity for Germany to play around with the mods. And we've seen how good they can be. So it might favor the US, but Germany has just put up brilliant performances this match. Yeah, Germany, you know, you might see a little bit of over mod. You might see a couple hard rocks on that side. You obviously only required one hidden, one hard rock per team, but if it's something that makes the map more comfortable, we know Germany's very good with the precision aim. So having a couple extra players on that circle size 6.5 hard rock, not as bad. But United States has always looked, I think, to free mods as very good picks them because they have those carry performers who can go in and put up great scores and let their mod players do their best. So everything feels very tense, <laughs> you know, and I think this roster is one for the USA that's going to be very good on this. But Germany, likewise, very strong on every type of pick. You got to be very careful because Germany did let up that early break point against the United States, giving them that one pick advantage here. So even if Germany was able to take all of their picks for the rest of the match, the United States would still have match point opportunity, a full map early. So if Germany isn't able to take a break point here, it's going to be very difficult as the United States has looked absolutely dominant on their own picks. And here come the mods. We did see the U.S. not over modding. Fiery with the Hard Rock, Aryu on Hidden, and for Germany it's going to be Okinama with Hidden, Hello Watcher taking up the Hard Rock role. Pretty expected mods from both teams here. Okinama's been taking Hidden the entire tournament, and Hello Watcher has really showed up in this late stage Hard Rock here. Aryu, the resident Hidden God for the United States here in Fiery Rage, generally the Hard Rock man for the team as well. Both of them performing well in Fancy Lad and Vaxi with those combos. That's a very early miss from White Cat there on the Nomad. Ooh, but Okinamo as well. That's going to be double break for Germany already. I'm going to say if you break on these early sections of the map, it doesn't give you too much hope. The map doesn't get any easier than it does at the beginning of the map here. Fiery Ridge finds the first break for the United States on that hard rock, but Okinamo continues to trade it back. Yeah, so it's a slight advantage for the U.S. at this point. Ooh, it's going to start to grow, though, as Okinawa really can't hold the combo with this hidden here. As Aryu looking insanely comfortable with that double S still. Boombray is playing very well, though, with the Nomad right now for Germany. High accuracy from him. Hello Watcher also doing very well on Hard Rock. This one's staying really close when I mean, you've got the three FCs for the United States, but two FCs and a big combo for Germany. And Fire Rage with another break. Oh, but there goes so Okinawa. Another one of those FCs gone, and a big reset from White Cat, who was building his. Oh, and Umbre back goes up. down as well. And Fancy Lad, though, at the same time, did find a break. However, that is worse Air for Germany. Down. Are you? Okay, it's it's, oh, it's, it's Vaxay versus Hello Watcher, Hard Rock versus No Mod. Hello Watcher's got yeah. the mod advantage. Yeah, I was about to say that he does have that mod advantage. You see that score bar? It's slowly being pulled over to the right hand side. You gotta Still be careful. Still plenty of time. Very careful. Hello Watcher has much more break potential, I believe, with Hard Rock. Oh, and there it up. is. And there it is. And right as you say that, and more break but a break comes back from Aryu, but Vaxay unopposed, the only FC left. However, there is a decent amount of combo, uh, despite the Umbrain oh. miss. White Cat and Okinawa both trying to build back up. As long as Vaxay holds on, this is over for I'd them. It's going to be in a decent spot. Yeah. Yeah, the Fancy Lad putting up a great supporting combo as well. Vaxay looking too strong, though, with a quarter of the map left to go. And unfortunately for Germany, there's really not enough score left to go around for them to bring this back less than a quarter here as they continue trading breaks. Yeah, even if Vaxay were to break, their supporting combos really just aren't there to put them in a shot to win it. The U.S. Yeah, they have done enough. This is finally kind of the Vaxe we're used to seeing where he comes in and puts up these top score performances. Fancy Lad with a great supporting score as well. Aryu quitting himself very well in Hidden 2. This is not an easy hidden map by any means. So I think this is a little bit more what you would expect out of the United States. 
little bit better performance despite that late break from Ari Vaxe looking like he will in fact pull off the FC. And he, he will. He has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, Vaxe is here. Yes. <laughs> he is prepared at long last. First it FC is now of the match. Five to three United States. They are two points away from capturing the first standard three Pete World Cup title. You got to be very careful at this point if you're Germany, because once you get Vaxe starting to play like the way he can, there's really no stopping him. And with Fancy Lad only on a slider break for that as well, there was potential for that pick to be much less close than it actually was. Hallow Watcher, the only one that was really able to compete with the United States players with that hard rock modification. And the rest of Team Germany, they're really not liking that uh, low AR on any mod combination besides that hard rock there. So they have to be careful. They did ban out Hidden 2, but there is still a couple of free mods and hidden picks left here in Germany. Probably going to have to look back towards Nomad. I know they kind of want to avoid the Nomad 2 pick here, but they have looked good on streams. The United States, however, really not a team that you can confidently pick that in, even if you're Germany. Yeah, I think as we see a slower pick for the first time, this starts to be the point in the match where those really strong picks for Germany have kind of been exhausted. You mentioned Nomad 2, that might be something that they can go with, but, you know, DT1 gone, DT2 gone, DT4 hard gone, rock and they're going to stay in Hard Rock, so they're going to end up picking all three Hard Rock maps. Another small circle size Hard Rock as well, 6.11, so some more precision aim. Germany feasting on that mod previously with Hard Rock 2 victory. Let's see if they can keep things going in the Hard Rock pool. I want to say this is a good pick for Germany because of the low CS win they had on Hard Rock 2. However, with the style of map that we're seeing here, we've seen Aryu, Fancy Lad, and Vaxe all perform to uh, the highest level that we generally see them on some of these more textile picks here. And especially when you throw Hard Rock on, it doesn't affect them too much. And Fiery Rage, also known for being pretty good at this style of map, he did take the Hard Rock, although he will be subbing out, it looks like, for Kablaze, an understandable substitution. I actually really like this pick, though, from Germany. I think it presents a decent opportunity for them to actually get another point here. You consider multiple factors. Halo actually did have a pretty good performance on that last free mod up until he missed. He had a pretty decent combo. And this map is only 2 minutes and 12 seconds long, so if the U.S. do find misses, uh, there will be an opportunity for Germany to come back and take this. And there are a lot of places you can find breaks on a map like this. You know, it has some slider streams, very easy to miss on those. It has some cut streams, very easy to miss on those as well. Some very tricky patterns, especially when you add in that kind of precision factor of the circles being so small in this. So, and, you know, Germany's strength, it's, it's going to play toward their strength of the, the precision aim, but it's going to, I think, play to the United States' strength a little bit as well, just being able to combo incredibly well on uh, the very tricky, more, you know, less mechanical and more you know kind of cursor control type of picks so there there are strengths in this map for both teams and weaknesses in this map for both teams so i think it's a it's a decent germany pick but it's one that compared to like a nomad 5 i think germany um or the united states are relatively maybe a little stronger on well here we go heading into the ninth round and I think there are probably people who didn't expect this match to go this many maps. I, <laughs> considering yeah, what happened no, in the semifinals and, and the finals, the USA was putting on some dominant shows, but the United, but uh, the Germany roster showing up today, you know, three points already on the board and a very good chance at a fourth year. Yeah, they had a great loser's bracket performance and they're really continuing it into the winner's bracket here. United States, by a decent amount, the hardest team that they will face in this tournament here. And they're uh, Ooh, putting up showing this. early break. This yeah. is a short map too. Yeah, yeah, Smarty, Kablaze, and Fancy Lad. Fancy Lad finding another one, so now Germany going to start to run away with it. Look at that score bar just take off there. That's a big break there. Fancy Lad, very uncharacteristic to find two breaks at the beginning here. Kablaze only finding the one, starting to recover just a little bit on the combo, but there's not much of a difference. Smarty found a very early slider break, so Germany's not in the clear yet. Vaxi and Aryu have been looking insanely rising. strong. Rising. Slider and Halo go down. Germany's falling apart. And Smarty apart goes down already. as well. It's just White Cat left against Vaxe, Aryu, oh, Vaxe and Kablaze. Down, oh. Right before the lead can flip over, Vaxe goes down, so it's Aryu and White Cat, and now it's all in these supporting combos. This is the White Kablaze Cat show right now. with 300 combo behind them. Might be a difference maker here if she can hold on to that it's combo. Going back. 
It's all on Kablaze and Aryu right now. Both of those massive combos for the United States. Aryu's completely offsetting White Cat. And nobody on Germany really has anything, but Vaxi finds a break. That's going to give them the opportunity. Rising White Cat goes down. Break. They need Aryu to find a break if they want a chance at this, but he's looking. And there it so is. Strong. There's the break from Aryu. This is Kablaze, a Kablaze, though. 550 though. combo and Fancy Lad 350 combo. That is outdoing Hello Watcher and Smarty, but Fancy Lad finds a Fancy break. Lad goes it's down. just Kablaze. Kablaze for the United States is holding on. The score league goes in the favor of the United it's States. It's Kablaze. Though. Kablaze goes down, Smarty and Hallow now. It's all on Smarty and Hallow. Quarter of the it's map close. left. Hallow Watcher, the best hard rock player for Germany, finds a break. It's just on Smarty, the new blood for Germany here. He's gonna hold it into the finish here. There's no combos in the United States besides Aryu. But the accuracy. I don't know if it's, it's gonna be enough. Smarty's got a lot of combo, but I don't know. It's gonna be so close into Aryu descending. Breaks. Every this miss from the US helps Aryu break the again. Double break. It's gonna be enough. The Germany's Germany! Are they gonna we'll hold it? Smarty it. has to FC into the ending. Smarty cannot find a break into the ending of the map here. Hallow He's gonna hold Hallow Watcher breaks. Smarty, Smarty holds it! It's Smarty! Look Find at one. that! Look at the 10k! 12k! 12,000 points and Smarty with the biggest FC of the tournament for him. Full combo from Smarty with two misses. Full com <laughs> oh yeah, full combo. The biggest, the, the biggest carry full, combo for him full though. Combo. Yeah, the biggest combo by a lot. 700,000 points. I mean, the best score in the lobby by a pretty big margin, man. Germany is just choosing someone to carry. It was Neox a couple times. Now it's Smarty. These new players putting in work, and they have another point on the board. This thing is still only one map apart. USA with yeah. another instant pick, but man, Germany is just not going to away. put the pressure on the Americans here, because now if Germany find a break point, they are right back in this match. United States been finding a lot of breaks on these more difficult mechanic style maps here. That was a different one for Germany there. They've really been sticking to those standard aim and streams there, but that was a little bit more awkward and Smarty stepped up to the plate when the rest of his team needed him and it was time there, but the United States gonna really run with this hidden. They know they're strong with that. They looked so good on the free mod and they know Germany banned out that hidden too, so they are really looking confident on a map like this. We've seen all the players in the United States performing very, very well on Hidden, and we haven't really had a chance to see Kablaze Hidden in a while for the United States, but she has been a massive addition in the Hidden mod pool, especially after the United States lost Toy and Tony from the roster. She has been the addition that they needed to kind of back that up, and Germany kind of struggling to put together a roster for the first time on this map here. Pressure yeah, and, on. Also, and also, once again, it's another very short map, two minutes and 15 seconds long. So if the U.S. are able to hold for a majority of this map, things will be looking good. The United States going to try and force that match point here. They're one point away on their own pick, but Germany, they're so close. They can taste tiebreaker. They're one of their picks and one break point away. But when you're Germany and you're going up against a team as strong as the United States, what is the morale like right now? What is your mindset when you're thinking, okay, we can do this. We can get to tiebreaker, but we need to take one of their points in order to do it. What goes through your head when that is the situation? I think they just have to literally just keep fighting. Just never give up and just keep playing. Uh, I think they know that they're capable of it. And I think Germany is capable of it with how the U.S. has been playing today. They've been playing well, but we have seen some consistency issues. So Germany definitely is a team that can take advantage of something like that. We've really honestly seen consistency issues on both sides. There's a lot of players that I would argue are somewhat underperforming. You get some carry performances here and there, but I think both teams have a little bit of potential they can still reach on some of these maps and we haven't necessarily seen the best out of all 16 players as of this point so we're still waiting i think on just what they're capable of on some of these awkward picks that are remaining as you guys said not a lot of mechanics left in this pool things are going to be very tricky here on these last few picks we do get the very early miss from hallow watcher having a lot of trouble here this is i think a usa favored pick just a stronger hidden team overall than germany is okinama with an early break as well those two early combos oh, gone. goes down as well yeah so germany kind of putting up the classic you know this is kind of just what they are as a team they don't have as much of a hidden lineup as other teams and you know to be perfectly honest that's fine for them because they more than make up for it in other areas but when you're against a team like the united states they really capitalize on that what the united states has the four that can almost come in 
and uh, four-way FC a map at the beginning like this, even through the hard sections here. Fancy Life finds the first break, but it doesn't matter. There's still three FCs running. Okay, Namo Umbre both breaking that section. Hallow Watcher following up shortly after. Still a three-way full combo for the United States. Already a 300,000 point lead. This is just yeah, we're not going well through. for you, And Kablaze will be the second miss, but Vaxi and Aryu still holding the FCs. And guys, it's a short map, like we mentioned. We're already halfway through, and look at that score advantage. It's going to be almost impossible for Jeremy to flip that. They're going to need misses. Wait, there's a miss from Vaxi, though. Are okay, you so still holding? Are you versus Whitecap, but the score lead is there for the United States. They've built up a pretty massive gap, and there's not a huge amount of map left. Already down to the last third. Ooh, and Whitecap White White is gone. That might just seal it already, to be honest, because there's just not the supporting combo for Germany to try and bring yeah. this one back. Yeah, they have no or momentum. 400,000 score difference, and there's really no combos on the side of Germany. And Ariu is really not looking like he's going to stop anytime soon hitting this ladder section there. Okay, uh, yeah, Ariu is yep. going to do it to him. <laughs> Ariu is going Ariu mode, man. He is so good at hitting. He is so good at some of this awkward aim. He wants to and join wants the FC this. party. He really is about to do it here. Ariu going to be the newest addition question mark to the fc team right now holding through the last couple wiggles here big jumps into the ending no. is no he misses the wiggle that's such a hard um, pattern to just hit. like fancy laddie comes up a little bit short but a brilliant score nonetheless will put the united states up six to four and at match point this yeah. is that was yeah. what the United States needed a pick like that where they could just feel completely in control of the map the entire way through your mental gets just a little bit stronger when that sort of thing happens you win by 883,000 points you take that match point advantage six to four like USA is now one point away I think Aries is a little excited guys he is I'm pumped full of testosterone. <laughs> let's go. Substance. All right. Let's go, Ariu. He and, is and, ready. And we and also, reached, I need to point out. Yeah. I think we both we saw this at the same 20, time. 20,000 viewers. This uh, is as At the end of that last gotten. map. This is the biggest we've gotten since Tiebreaker Furiosa Melodia. 20,000 viewers. We want to thank each and every single one of you for tuning in. And uh, you're a part of Osu history at this point. This is it right here. Custom ever tiebreaker. Fantastic running through the rest of this tournament. We've had some insane matches and it all comes down to this match right here. Germany really still looking to give the United yeah. States that tiebreaker run that we're all looking for and here. As our referee Yassi just mentioned, I wanted to put this question to you guys. Do you think we're going to see some timeouts coming to play here? Germany, remember, both teams have that tactical two minute timeout. We might see that come out from Germany here. I could see. I could see Germany doing it. I mean, they're again taking some time on this pick. They don't have a lot left to choose from. They are one point away from being eliminated. This is, you know, the time that you take that tactical timeout if you're going to at all to try and settle those nerves and figure out the best possible option to try and go one more map. But it's and not going to be. Go in it's going to be the three mod three. three. This is a surprising one from Team Germany here on that. It didn't look amazing on the mods. However, this is a completely different free mod here. No low AR, way higher BPM. This is, you know, to be honest, kind of a... I, got, I kind of got blindsided by this pick here whenever they just threw this out here. This was uh, not exactly what I expected. I, I like it, though, because I think it's similar to their Hard Rock 3 pick. You notice that they're picking short maps? They're really trying to rely on those breaks from the United mm. States. We've seen a lot of early breaks from the U.S. as well, and I think that's where that short length comes in here. However, if you catch the United States on a single pick that they're confident on that's this short, it can also mean your imminent doom. So Germany has to be very careful, and I guarantee yeah, you this is like this must be like their trump card or something. Yeah, they this must is, have. This is the go big or go home moment. This is a uh, and and I like it. I think you kind of have to play like this. They need to win three in a row to essentially force a second game in Grand Finals. They need to win United States' pick no less, and the United States has absolutely given them zero wiggle room on their own picks. Germany has been able to win all of their own from that first one that they let up by only 60k, and goodness, I hope Germany aren't going to be kicking themselves if that 60k means the difference between them and Tiebreaker here, but yeah, they we, need this. We kind of alluded to it at the start of the match when it happened, but that was a massive break point. Yeah, because every team has won every single pick of their own since literally the first map of the match. So, the United States just has rolled onward with that kind of in their back pocket the whole way. And now, well, 
for Germany, it's all going to come down to this. Is there, This could be their last pick of the tournament here. And it was one that they won yesterday against Canada. It's a map that is, I think, well within their wheelhouse. Very strong on these higher BPM picks, very strong on aim. So I think this is probably the best of the remaining picks for them, but only time will tell. Two minutes, 15 seconds away from either forcing the United States into their last pick or uh, the United States winning the whole thing. This all this, comes down. It could be history. But Germany, we've seen them down by three in this very uh, same instance in the quarterfinals last year against Romania. And they were able to run it back. They're going to need to channel some of that energy and do it here. Chat, if you're behind Germany, give them your energy. They are going to need it. The United States, to be perfectly honest, kind of need it too right now. Germany has been really looking strong on their own picks. So there is, in all likelihood, a chance that Germany takes this very heavily, but they need some massive performance here. White Chat with a very early break, not giving us the start that Germany needs here, but Kablaze trades. And Kablaze is the hidden mod, so that's going to help. Adustus is going to follow it up. The Hard Rock miss for Germany there. So the U.S. early lead. And once again, the U.S. running with their patented strategy, putting their probable two top carry performers on the Nomad. Seeing breaks from the modded players, though. Swaggy Swagster, Kablaze, both with the early misses. So it's Vaxay Fancy Lad taking on Okinamo Umbre, but the combo advantage in favor of White Cat with the very early miss on Germany's side. They'll take yes, the lead sir. back by a small margin. Yeah. This is where Germany need to be. They need to keep themselves at least within distance to strike near the end of the map. They have to be careful. Okinamo on that hidden right here. Hidden, but Swaggy Swagster finds a big break for them. Okinamo with the FC drops, though. That's really big for them. The United States basically has three FCs. Kablaze is only about 80 combo behind the other two FCs for the United States. And Vaxay looking insanely strong, only dropping one oh, 100 fancy on lad. Oh, fancy lad. That could be really big for the United that, States that. here. Germany holds. Yeah, got Germany, three that score bar is flying to the right right now. Fancy Lab with another miss. It's Dust Dice, White Cat, and Umbre doing the work. Vaxi and Kablaze trying, but they have no support from Swaggy Swagster or Fancy Lad. There's still half the map left. There's so much time, but Umbre giving us the performance that we really haven't seen from him yet exactly when he needs to right now on the Nomad. Dust Dice and White Cat with massive backing combos. It's Vaxi and Kablaze versus three Germany players right now. Okinamo's holding off Fancy Lad into the streams here. A quarter of the map left. Kablaze breaks. This is big. And Germany, it looks as if they're going to hang in there and take another point and Umbre stay alive. Okinamo, Okinamo and Umbre. It's, it's just one there's Dust Ice. Wait a minute. Dust Ice. It's White Cat versus Vaxi. There's backing combo breaks. for the United States. They have Rectigon and Fancy Lad. No, Fancy, Fancy Lad's breaks. gone. But, but if Vaxi and Swaggy Swagster can hold on another two breaks from Dust Ice and Umbre, the there States might just be enough time. White Cat has to hold on. They need to see a break from the United States. It's the score all on White Cat. Back. It's the last couple of seconds of the map. And White it's Cat. It's flying. It's going. Like it's going slowly, hold. but not fast enough. White Cat's going to do it. The lead's not going back. White Cat holds on for Germany. The number the... one player in the world brings Germany to the victory when they need it. 63,000 points, dude. Germany. Germany. Cat. <laughs> and instantly the U.S. will fire Hidden One as their final pick of this first game of the Grand Finals. Either this will be a break point for Germany and we go to tie break or the Hidden U.S. One. are world champions right here. Hidden critical, One. Critical cannonball time. This is a United States level pick. To close this match here this is it is awkward it has hidden it's long it is everything that the united states is looking for in a final pick of this match and germany need to shut them down here the united states has been unrelenting on hidden on the free mods and germany has to get this now united states won germany's first pick of the match by 60 thousand points and germany has to respond to that now or it is all over well well backs against the wall germany now are gonna have to dig deep and deliver the hidden performance of their lives to send this to tie break goodness you know, this is you know, these are the kinds of, uh, these are the kinds of moments that osu players dream of being in in the world cup these are the kind of moments when legends are born. Let's see if Germany can rise up to the occasion here. I'm gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. If there was any song that we wanted to hear before tiebreaker, or before the end, this is probably it. 
This is gonna be the map to end the tournament before tiebreaker or to end it all. This is the last stand and for here it Germany. Is. The MP start command put in by Yazzie, our referee. And that means we're going to be getting underway very soon. The final rosters for both teams. Air you vax say I'm a fancy lad in Kablaze for the United States facing off against White Cat, Okinamo, Hallowatcher, and Umbre to end it all here. This is the end of the line for these two teams. United States, this right. is the only chance that they get to close this out on their own pick, so this has to be a good one for them. Germany have been able to hold on so far, but this is a different kind of beast entirely. They're going to have to dig real deep here, and so far, everyone holding quite well through the opening section. A little bit of an act lead for Germany here, but that is basically it. There is no breaks at the beginning here which is both good and bad for both of these teams. The pressure is on, and as the map continues, less and less combo to make a recovery, so the early breaks or any break can be big as we come into the key eye here. Yeah, already almost a quarter of the way through it. Complete. Please? We'll find the first miss. That's pretty big. Germany now with some room. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Can there they can make it? There he is down. <laughs> Wait a second. Hello Watcher's the only break for Germany. United States has two. We're a quarter of the way into the map. I know it's a little bit early, but still, this is not something that the United States can have on their closing pick. There's light. It's they can see the light. They have a three-way FC still intact. It's just all going to be on how long White Cat, Okinawa, and Umbre can hold on and whether Vaxe and Fancy Lag can continue their FCs to keep USA in touch. But Germany just not Fancy letting up on their own. Fancy, Fancy lag. lag goes down, and it seems oh, almost inevitable. Aryu finds a break as well. They're almost halfway into the map. Okinamo finally breaks, but Ombre and White Cat are still holding. Could we see another White Cat versus Vaxe 1v1 into the end here? As long as Ombre holds, Germany takes this. Yeah, and halfway through, even though Halo Watcher finds that drop, it's not going to make much of a difference. Miss is coming in from the US side. White Cat and Ombre just need to hold on a little longer to put it's this out of reach. It's just Kablaze and Vaxay right now. Kablaze has the accuracy, and they need to see a double break from Germany if they want this to happen. It's 230,000 on the score, and we're halfway past the map point now. Yeah, this the U.S. are going to need something, anything from Germany. Why can't an Ombre are just doing the Lord's work right now? This could be it. This is what Germany needs. Umbre right goes down. It's White Umbre. Cat and Vaxi. It's, it's the 1v1. Vaxi is down. Vaxi breaks. It's going to be White Cat to hold. The number one player in the world is bringing it again. White Cat. There's nothing left. Strutton. There's White Cat left is left doing it. White Cat finally breaks, but Okinamo holds along with Hollow Watcher. There's a thousand combined combo in Germany to only 300 in the United States. Both of double break from Germany. And there's, I don't know, I don't think there's enough time for the U.S. to build combo here. Look at that score difference. As long as Germany can at least maintain and hold some sort of combo, there's no time. they've done enough. They've done plenty. We're going to tiebreak. We're going to see a tiebreaker. United States reigning champions have run almost undefeated. And Germany coming undefeated from the loser's bracket is going to drag them to tiebreaker, taking the break point by a significant amount here. Wow, Germany digging deep, doing the work that need to be done. They pull out a legendary moment, forcing tiebreaker in game one. This is the point that we have been waiting for the entire tournament. I know, and nobody can deny it, that the entirety of this tournament on Reddit, in chat, in servers, everybody has been saying that the United States is going to be an inevitable stop in grand finals. Well, who is laughing now? Germany is. That's who's laughing because they have taken the number one seeded team, the undefeated champions for the past two years, to tiebreaker on their own pick. Germany on Uparts going are we, to try are we getting, and force uh, this. 2018 vibes, anyone? I can feel it right now. The United States has to win this tiebreaker. Otherwise, there is an entire so, other match ahead of us. We should probably clarify this for the chat now. So this is a double elimination tournament. The United States have not lost yet, meaning that if Germany win this tiebreak, there will be a game two shortly after. If the United States win, they are the world champions. Man, this is it. This is... 
the time you know I, I wonder. <laughs> you know how I said I talked about those legendary moments? Well, Germany have now just set themselves up for another even bigger legendary moment. Oh my. And goodness. I'm going to be honest here, but this is almost a Germany favored tiebreaker. We've <laughs> seen agree. a lot of talk about how much speed is required in this tiebreaker. Well, what does Germany have in their skill set? Speed, and lots of it. This is the chance that they needed to maybe take this to that reset match. I don't know, genuinely don't know if the United States can match them on this skill set. The way that these two teams are playing, Germany feels it's, like they have every advantage going into this TV. It, it almost feels like a complete toss-up at this point. This is really, like, Germany has looked so good on all of the mechanic stuff in this match here today. However, the United States has been amazing on all of the really weird alt and gimmick picks, and the speed has been going to both teams on either side. There is absolutely no way of telling who is going to bring this one home right now. You have both teams with what I assume are the final lineups. You have Swaggy Swags here for the United States, Vaxe, I'm a fancy lad and Kablaze for Team Germany, Rising, Okinamo, White Cat, and Dust Ice. The four tried and true players for both teams bringing it into the final seven minutes of this match. Camellia, this one's for you. Yes, we get to see the custom song made exclusively for this tournament, for this grand finals, actually being played in the actual grand final. What more could you ask for, chat? The seven million, the seven minute Camellia special. That's what we can ask for right and now. And there's the start command from Yazzie, the official. This tiebreaker is about to get underway. Here we go. This is 23,000 viewers. We thank you once again. And let's get into the tiebreak, guys. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I feel like everyone is on the edge of their seat here. I cannot even imagine what is going through the minds of these players right now. These specific four. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I can't even imagine what's going through the minds of the players that are not playing this right now. That's probably even That's, more stressful. It's probably worse. That's probably worse. But here we go. Six minutes and 40 seconds long, this tiebreaker. The United States has the security of a match reset after this. Germany has that in the back of their head that they have to win this. And you have to wonder if the nerves are going to take effect here. This is the point where we see those big players. Very early miss, but plenty of time in this tiebreak game. Yeah, this big is a things. map that it's just so tough to get great scores on, but we're seeing some of the best players in the world here. So wait, wait, Okinamo HD. Stuff is wait, 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 yeah, Okinamo wait, HD. Wait. wait a second, Okinamo, Okinamo a, HD. He's a hidden player. I, I'm this not going to question that too much because Okinamo we know loves is hidden. I won't to question a lot of it. Members on that team. I that's, love it. That's Chad as hell. That is it. <laughs> he is going big or going home. Oh, this is it right here into the first big alt section into the key eye. The space stream comes out. Nobody breaks and Here we go. This is the big part. Here we get into the start of the map. You're fancy lad finds a break. That's an early Okinamo though trades it right back. Yeah. So they Germany's hit. still with a slight advantage. Fancy lad continues trading along here though. Okinamo does have that hidden advantage though. So even though his accuracy is not holding up as much, the combo and the hidden is going to be big. Yeah, but he does find another miss, so if he can build up that combo, it'll definitely come into effect later. There goes White, White Cat. Cat. There's does another go FC gone. It's Rising Dust Dice against Vaxa Rectigon with Blaze on that backing combo. Fancy Lad building up a little bit ahead of Okinamo. The United States is going to bring this lead back. There goes Dust Dice as well. Another FC Rising gone. Rising is down there's, as well. there's no FCs left. There's no combo left on Germany. How United big of an advantage States. can the United States make out of this with how long this map is? Vaxay, there goes Vaxay. What? All right, so it's Swaggy Swagster and Kablaze right now. We're a quarter way through the map, which means we're only about two minutes and 20 seconds in here. Vaxxay continuing to find breaks, but all of Germany not being able to hold there on Rising and Dust Dice. It's Swaggy Swagster, Kablaze, and Fancy Lad versus Okinamo and White Cat with a significant... Oh, Swaggy breaks. Swagster the goes the down. FC, the only FC gone, it's just Kablaze. Not the end of the world. Kablaze has Fancy Lad backing her up. 500, 600 combo from Fancy yeah. Lad. We've kind of ignored that a little bit, but he has built up from the early breaks. So they yeah, do but have the matching combos for Germany. 
The Germans are slowly building their combos back up to make a challenge here in the second half, but those double Ooh, misses double from break. Rising and Okinamo are not going to help them out here. Fancy Lab will go down. It's Kablaze. Triple miss from the United States. Why miss. White Cat holds. White Cat has 600. He's got a massive combo. We're only halfway through the map. There is more than three and a half minutes left in this map, and White Cat is the no combos left. White Cat is gone. There's no combos anywhere. The biggest combos are at about 150, 200 combo. Fancy Lad over 200. Dust Dice with a slow slider break, and Ooh, White Cat with another miss. Germany. And that's a four-way break. That's a complete reset. And now there goes the US. Kablaze. There goes Rexy and there goes Kablaze. It's Vaxay and Fancy Lad. No, just Vaxay. The former number Vaxay Vax breaks. Nobody can hold there's, combo. There's, there's an eight-way reset. There is no combo on anyone. It's just Fancy Lad. Fancy Lad's holding through the slider section here. This is big for the United States. That's the only combo. And it's going to increase their lead. The United States with about 110,000 score lead right now is absolutely massive on a pick like this. 110,000 score is huge on a map this long. Yeah, but it's still not completely White out Cat, of reach, though so things are looking bleak for the Germans with that miss from White Cat there. We do see Fancy Lad, Swaggy Swagster, and Vaxa building the combos. There goes a, a break from Rising, kind of in this slow section. A, a break from Rectigun, Swaggy Swagster does find that miss, but Vaxa, Fancy Lad, Kublaze, all building up combo. Okinama with a sneaky, almost 300 combo. There's a little bit of room to work with. We've still got a lot of map to go, only about just past Ooh, halfway through. The United States. Okinama, though, with a break. It's White Cat and Dust Dice against Kablaze and Vaxay. Kablaze breaks it's just Vaxay, but White Cat breaks it's Dust Dice versus Vaxay right now. Kablaze finds another break, but Swaggy Spicer does as well. Double break for Germany. It is it still breaks Vaxi everywhere. It's Vaxay versus Dust Dice on the slow Dust section. Dust Dice goes Dust down. Vaxay holds. Vaxay. And we're gonna bring it. Oh, the final third of the map. Vaxi, Vaxi, Vaxi the ultimate Vaxi. final boss of Osu tournament play. You know him. You know what he's capable oh, he of, down. and he's putting he in breaks. that performance. He finally breaks, but, but that 700 no combo. combo was so big. There's no combo anywhere. 220 on Swaggy Swagster is now gone. There's no combo on a single player. 150 is the biggest combo anywhere. The U.S. running away. They're checking out. The United States. There's so many misses. The okay, Nambo breaks. It's just Dust Dice versus Kablaze right now. It doesn't do anything for Germany. Kablaze is just maintaining the lead that the United States already has. Dust Dice is, Dust Dice is shaking. Hold on. He's Kablaze making it through these streams. And down he goes breaks. again. And there it goes. Kablaze that might have done it. Wavering through the streams. Kablaze holds through the sliders as well. Finally breaks. There's no combos on this anyone is to it. do anything. The United States are closing in on what's going to be a historic moment if they can cap it off. Looking for the first ever standard three-peat in World Cup history. There's a three-way miss from Germany. Away. Rising Look, Okinawa dust dice all breaking. There's no combos. The score lead is going towards the United States still. It is more than 100,000 and it's locking their Swaggy Spikester finds a break, but it doesn't matter because White Cat and Vaxi are matching each other. The match Vaxi combo. still holding with that 500 combo. White Cat is there, but Germany, they're really far behind and they don't have enough time. The United States would have to completely to happen. fall apart. They would have to completely fall apart at the ending here for anything to happen. White Cat's trying to make it work, but as long as Vaxley holds, it doesn't matter. Kablaze is backing him up. Fancy Lad is backing There's resets Kablaze on Germany. Up. There's Rising and Dust Dice breaking. That just did it, I'm fairly sure. There's no chance it's no over. matter what Vaxley so and White Cat combo. do. There's so and as much. the map comes to a close, the U.S. sprinting ahead with Vaxley, Kablaze, and Swaggy Swagster. It's putting all in brilliant over. performances. Blaze and ladies and finish. gentlemen, your 2020 Osu World Cup champions. Once again, the United States of America. What a performance. What a map. What a match. The, the final margin of victory, 110,000 points. So close from start to finish. But those combos from the United States, just keeping them ahead the whole way. Vaxe, Kublaze, Fancy Lad, and Swaggy Swagster all taking turns, just keeping the United States ahead and pulling out the victory. A three-peat unprecedented in Osu standard play. And that is as well five out of the last six World Cups. The United States, historic levels of dominance, but Germany, what a match from them. They certainly came to play today, didn't they? Able to send it to tiebreak, almost able to complete what would have been a legendary comeback. But the United States able to put the advantage in early on in the tiebreaker, and they would never look back. There are your winners and your 2020 OSU World Cup champions, the United States, Kablaze, BTMC, Swaggy Swagster and Fancy Lad all winning it in their first ever World Cup.
What a play and a performance from the United States. We talked about it the entire tournament with a half new roster still making it work in Germany with their first time ever being above third place. Congratulations to them for the second place badge. The best performance for Team Germany that we have ever ever seen and a very big congratulations as well to our third place team canada all three of them will be taking home badges and a piece of the prize pool for the tournament this year what an absolute ride the tournament has been this year from the opening match to some absolutely insane bracket stage matches all the way through some sweeps and tiebreakers up to a grand finals custom map tiebreaker for both of these teams with a hundred thousand score difference. What more could you ask for from the US World Cup 2020? This has been such a tournament this year. It's, it has. It's been an absolute joy to watch. And this whole year of World Cups has just been on another level of hype from Tycho to Catch to Mania to Standard. It, this is truly just a great way to close out a fantastic year of World Cups. And there's your official podium for the 2020 OSU World Cup. That was, man, just like Chillier said, start to finish this tournament had it all. There were some incredible performances from so many teams, just everyone giving it their all. This entire cycle, as you said, 2020 has been such a great year for not just Osu Standard, but all the other modes. But man, what a way to close it out. Tiebreaker Grand Finals, custom song for the first time ever. Big thank you to, for, to uh, Camellia for bringing that one to us because yes. wow, what a song to make Ooh, a, yeah. an epic tiebreaker And we actually of. got to see it played in the match. Oh. The first Grand Finals tiebreaker since 2018, of course, that epic match. This one going to go right up there in the annals of OSU standard history. I think this was amazing from start to finish. Both these teams giving it everything they had. Yeah. I, I love how Germany came in and they just proved so many people wrong. And they, they gave up that early break point, but they fought the entire match. And at the very end, were able to get that break point they needed to at least send it to tie break. A fantastic performance from them. And they've, they've had a great year. So Germany, congratulations to your success and your second place. It's well deserved. Well deserved. An unprecedented performance from all of these teams that you see up on your screen here. Between the new players and the old players, the incoming and the outgoing, this has been the tournament of the year and the one that we all hoped that we would get. But sadly, it does have to come to an end here with the grand finals but that doesn't mean that it is over we will be returning next year for more of the world cups not just the os world cup but please stay for the catch world cup we have the taika world cup we have the mania 7k and 4k world cups for potential both of those so plenty left for the 2021 series but for now that is it from us in 2020. It has been such a year. We appreciate all of and those that have come out for everything. I got to say real quick, we just three casted that. That, was that went surprisingly well. <laughs> you got to love it, man. That's what we're here for. We, I, was this, was, this was great. I mean, the freaking what? 24,000 viewers here. The That's epic cast, insane. the epic match, the epic viewership. This had it all. Thank you it guys truly for did. having it me truly did. Well. So what a finish. What a time. Thank you so much for joining us all together on the tiebreaker. I have been Chillier Pearer. I have been joined by none other than Doland and this one guy. It has been an absolute pleasure to be your commentators this year. <laughs>